Something's burning. Lobster Lansing. I mean, I'd keep one of these as a pet. Unfortunately, I've got to chop him in off. Cutlery combat. Go! <laughs> Becky actually rugby tackled me to the floor. Get out of my way. I want to win that spoon. And doggy doubles. I came fourth in a competition. There's dog who looks most like their owner. But she's much more glamorous than a dog. As five keen culinarians battle for the big bucks. How could you run with your knickers around your ankles? This week we're in Birmingham, which played host to the Commonwealth Games of 2022. And hoping to bring home the gold this week is today's host, credit controller Sophie. My friends would say I'm very glam. Probably the most glam person I know. <laughs> I wouldn't say I've got a poker face whatsoever, even with Botox. I'm still very expressive. So I can see. So I have two rescue dogs. They mean the world to me. They're so beautiful. I definitely prefer dogs to people. They're just so much easier. Bad luck, you've got four human guests tonight. Kiss. Oh. <laughs> so what's the plan then? My inspiration for my menu, it's just food I love. Food I love to indulge in. It's fancy. And first up on her menu of fancy fare is dessert. Sticky toffee pudding with custard ice cream. It's not my favourite pudding at all, I'm not going to lie. Just reminds me of Minan. Second up this week is hairdresser Richard. So what are we thinking today, Blue Rinse? Still got your nan on your mind, then? I grew up on a dairy farm, um, but the muck wasn't really for me. I'm more tap shoes than wellies, so uh, I tapped away as soon as I could. You're going to be the belle of the beer garden with this hair, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say I've got quite high standards for food, but it's about the quality. I'm a dairy farmer's son, you know, it's got to be A grade, otherwise it's not getting in my mouth at all. Noted. Sophie begins with fruit. So the thing with dates, they don't look great, do they? But they keep you regular. Thanks for that. In with the fibrous fruit goes brown sugar, eggs, butter, and vanilla essence. Then a blitz. What do you think that looks like? What do you think? As somebody who's had a bad time, that is. <laughs> That'll be the dates then. Flop. <laughs> Flop. Flour added, it's in to bake. <laughs> On to the main lobster gnocchi with a white wine, garlic, and cream cheese sauce. Ganache. Uh, gnocchi. It's not ganache though. No, it's gnocchi. It's, um. Gnocchi. Knocky! Got there in the end. Ah! Our next guest is healthcare assistant Donna. My name's Donna, aka Don One, the only Don One. Why is that then? The reason they call me Don One, because Don One always gets everything right. Well, as long as that makes sense to you. Don One's here. The Queen's here. Where's the Aki and everything? The kind of person that would wind me up is a me me person. I'm all very much me 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 me. Oh, dear. Next up, and no shrinking violet, is security officer Rebecca. Gosh, these have really have blossomed. Well, friends would say there isn't a party if I'm not there. When I come in to a gathering, I always come with, I'm here! You don't bother knocking, then. <laughs> I think that people would probably find me irritating when I... Um, talk a lot, which I can do, uh, and take over. They're probably thinking, oh, just shut up. Oh. For her knockies, Sophie mixes flour, spuds and eggs, then rolls the dough into a big sausage. I'm not really chuffed about how this has turned out. I think I've done uh, very well. Some might say, knocking it out the park. <laughs> the dough's rolled into small balls and will be boiled tonight. Lobster gnocchi, so it's obviously a lobster something, isn't it? Like the lobster's breast or something, or leg, or part of a lobster. Meet our final guest, supply teacher and aspiring rapper, Owen. You can be a star, never give up. You can make it, you can take it. I would describe myself as quite chattery, um, an interactive person, not one that's shy to, to talk, as you can see. <laughs> I love laughter. I'm a Leo, so, like, we're so expressive. 
I come from the curb, as you know, birth of the old, trying to turn words into dough. I'm quite straight up person. Yeah, what you see is what you get. For instance, if there was a dirty fork, I'd basically, that would be the highlight of the night. <laughs> I'd make that clear, especially if I got the dirty fork. Back in the kitchen, Sophie's cracking on with her crustaceans. Aww. I mean, I'd keep one of these as a pet. A dead lobster? I'm going to name him Pinchy. Unfortunately, I've got to chop him in half, but it's what he would have wanted, I think. It ruddy isn't. There we go. Lobsters dissected, she adds garlic and parsley butter. Pinchy and pals will be baked later. On to the starter. Truffle butter fillet steak with mushrooms. Sounds like dinner, lunch and breakfast all in one go. Truffle butter filled, you know. <laughs> The starter to me seems like it's a bit too heavy. I'd prefer it as a main. So if somebody viewed my menu and said you can't do steak as a starter, I think they're wrong. Of course you can have steak as a starter. Who are they? The cookery, please. I'll do what I want. Yes, you do you. Sophie mixes garlic, beef stock and Worcester sauce, then slaps it onto her steaks. It's like a massage in my husband. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> I think my husband would like me to rub beef stock and uh, Worcester sauce into him. Must be a Birmingham thing. I'm not a massive fan of steak. Ironic, as a farmer's son, I know, steak's just not my favourite food. If it's raw, if it's, like, rare, then that's not going to be for me. I prefer my steak to be done really well done. If somebody asked for the steak well done, of course I'll do it for them, but he's going to ruin it. You got that, Owen. After a sprinkle of rosemary, the steaks are left to marinate. They'll be cooked to order tonight and served alongside posh mushrooms. After reading this menu, I think this is a man. Because it's quite simple and mannish. <laughs> Everything's prepared and all I need to do now is get my glad rags on. And what rags does everyone else have to wear then? Wear your eating pants. Do they expect me to turn up in pants? Big baggy pants, clown pants. I might just put a pants over my head and turn up. <laughs> oh, please don't. Right, I'm ready. I've got my eating pants on. We'll have to take your word for that. First to arrive, she's opted for cat ears on her head instead of pants. It's Rebecca. Oh, nice How are you? Here. I'm good, are you? I'm like good, yeah. I'm glad to meet you. Mwah. You too. Mwah. What's your name? I'm Rebecca. I'm so oh. Coming in. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to take this one because, look, this it's is more filled. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely view from upstairs. Cheeky. <laughs> Second in, it's Donna. Hello. 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 What's your name? Donna. Hello, Donna. I'm Sophie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Rebecca. Oh. Oh. Mwah. Mwah. So is this your eating pants? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the cat ears. If, when I come back from my next life, I want to come back as a cat. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you like cats? No. <laughs> Moving on. No. Next in, it's Richard. Hello. Hello. Hi, Richard. Nice to meet you. I'm Sophie. This is How Rich. Hi, everyone. I'm Richard. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name, sorry? Donna. Donna. Who kissing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet Donna and... I'm Rebecca. Mwah! Okay. Mwah! Nice to meet you, Rebecca. <laughs> I think I might need a top-up soon, though. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to crack one of these open, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot your name. Richard. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Maybe leave the top-up for now? <laughs> Last to arrive is Owen. Hi, how are you doing? I'm Owen, you know. Hi, Hi I'm Hello. Rebecca. Nice to meet you, Rebecca. Why do you look very I'm familiar Owen. to me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I've got one of the faces, eh? Yeah, well, oh, yeah. Rebecca kept saying she thought she knew me. I don't know, sometimes that's a little bit of a ploy, isn't it? Of like a chat up line, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I know you from somewhere. You know? <laughs> I don't want to say that, but that's how it come across, isn't it? Like, so I'm just being honest. This is yeah. definitely, yeah. definitely yeah. eating pants. No, no. <laughs> well, these are comfortable and casual, so I thought, So you thought, just yeah. come in your PJs, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure you fit your own brief. Yeah, but no. I've got room. I have got room. But I wanted to be glam. I actually really like everybody. Everybody seems like they're going to be so much fun. Cheers to a great Cheers. week, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Coming up. Oof. Bloody beef. It's a crime to cook it well done. It is medium rare. That's medium <laughs> raw. He looked alive. <laughs>
He was succulent. And a pestering pussy. I just think Rebecca likes to be the centre of attention. It's night one in and around Birmingham. <laughs> where glamorous dog lover Sophie is hoping her indulgent menu will win her a round of applause and the £1,000 prize. But before the cooking can commence, there's some choices to check. I want to know, how do you like your steak cooked? Well done, please. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'll try I'll try. What about you, Donna? Um, well done. Rebecca? Uh, medium rare, like my son would say. Good girl. Yeah, I mean... mine has to be well, well done. <laughs> <laughs> you got that, Sophie. We don't want any mistakes. Sorry. While she gets her mushrooms on the move, Rebecca and Richard have a potter around her pad. This is nice and bright. Oh, she's got some dogs. Oh, she's come forth in something. But well, she's got pets, do you reckon? Oh. Maybe she's come forth in the craft show. Could this also be a dog's bedroom? And I think dogs are Yeah, too... maybe I can sleep. But well, you've got cat ears on, you're a cat. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <laughs> no time for a cat nap. Meow. Meow. <laughs> this is a bit weird. <laughs> no, a woman purring at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first. <laughs> That's first. And possibly a last. I really like Rebecca. I just think Rebecca likes to be the centre of attention. Back in the kitchen, Sophie grills her bread and cracks on with the steaks. So this is a lovely piece of filly, so it's a crime to cook it well done, but that's what people want. You're going to have to ruin it. I think everything is running pretty smoothly at the moment, so... Very good. Something's burning. Oh, dear. Well saved. Just caught that at the nick of time. Oh. Well, sort of. How's the steak? I think that's perfect, medium rare. Perfect for me, anyway. Mushrooms are piled on, as is the meat. Would you say that's um, a pretty big starter? They're certainly not dainty. Here are the well-done steaks. Hopefully, they taste better than they look. And here it is, a healthy portion of truffle butter fillet steak with mushrooms on bread. Here's your well-done steak. Thank you. Ooh, that's <laughs> oh, that looks nice. I thought this was a main course. Oh, <laughs> yay. We're just starting. There we go. It is medium rare. Is it? That's medium <laughs> raw. <laughs> <laughs> it looked alive. <laughs> I thought it was more rare than medium rare. My beef's cooked really, really nicely. Thank you. Really tasty. Yeah. The steak was cooked to perfection. It was well done, but it wasn't burnt. My steak was cooked just right, yeah. Too much mushrooms a little bit off mushroom. for me, yeah, but yeah, it was OK overall. It was, like, swarmed with mushrooms, and that was a little bit of a... Turn it off. I'm offended. I'm offended by Owen leaving his mushrooms. The steak was nice. It was succulent. I'm telling you, Sophie, this is really nice. Thank you. I wanted to dislike it. <laughs> At the same time, I wanted to like it. Oh, <laughs> you, wanted, you wanted to be a saboteur. You wanted to sabotage. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I love it. I mean, look, I've just got yeah. the, the burnt bits. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't even meant to see that. Have you left any truffles? Take it away. Just <laughs> you want a doggy bag? <laughs> you don't mind, do you? No, 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 you crack on. Oh, God, when Rebecca started leaning over me and that to eat, like, my truffles, I was just like, oh, my God, what on earth are you doing? So, me and Rebecca had a little rummage upstairs and found this. What's that all about? So, I came forth in a competition with my dog. There's dog who looks most like their owner. Oh, <laughs> well, at least you got fourth and not first. <laughs> that is uncanny. <laughs> Sophie does look a little bit like her dog with her big eyes and her blonde hair. I think it was a bit disrespectful for the person who gave her fourth place looking like a dog, but she's much more glamorous than a dog. What dog breed do you think everybody looks like? Yeah, so Donna. I think you like a Labrador, that yeah. lovely blonde flowing mane. Afghan hound. 
that oh. you've got long, oh, like, yes, yes, yes. flowing is hair. That the big, yeah. Is that the big <laughs> one? <laughs> With a long <laughs> hair, yeah. You have to look that up when I get out. You'll be spitting in the dinner when it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what a Labrador looks like because I don't know nothing about dogs. You look more like a cat. You do look more like a cat. I can never look like a dog. <laughs> Rebecca and Owen seem to like each other. I think they're the naughty kids. They're like the kids who sat at the back of the class kind of people. <laughs> on to the main. The lobster's in to grill and the knockies on to boil. Plonk these in. Cheesy sauce, cheesed. This is extra mature cheese. Extra mature like me. Well, that Botox is working wonders. Oof. Look at those bad boys. Lobsters grilled, they're topped onto the knocky. I think you'd pay about 30 quid for that in a restaurant. Well, tonight it's very much on the house. Lobster knocky with a white wine, garlic and cream cheese sauce. There we go. Thank you. Wow. This looks good. Feel free. <laughs> What's a knocky? You've never heard of knocky? Uh-huh. It's basically an Italian dumpling. I think I'm doing it wrong. Put your back into it. Go on, <laughs> squeeze, give it a good squeeze. There we go. There we go. I'm just not very good with seeing my food with legs and stuff. I just like to eat the actual meat. But it was very tasty. It is hard work, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, I do <laughs> like lobster. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's one of my favourites. We can see. <laughs> but it's trying to find else. <laughs> find the meat and find the meat. <laughs> Overall, it was nice, but there wasn't enough meat on it, and it was too fiddly. It's all right. It's all right. It's nice. I'm just a bit. I'm just a bit. I like, it's to, all right. I like to. I like to talk straight in with food, in it, but I'm a bit like. Ooh. I think it's better than all right, to be honest. With the lobster clawed, Sophie talks past professions. One of my first jobs was I worked on the beer buses based in the Black Country. So I was working behind the bar on the bus. And my first day working there, I had a stag do and we had an actual policeman on board. So he handcuffed the stag to the bus. No one could get through the handcuffs and he chucked the keys out the window. We had to go to the fire station to get the handcuffs removed. And I was only about 19 at the time and I was really shy as well. And it was just like sinking to my chair, like, oh my God. Sophie is very lively, very bubbly. She's really engaging with everyone on the table. And what could be more engaging than a spot of spooning? You might want to lose your heels. You're going to spin around a few times. Yeah. And then I'm going to tell you to go and four of you have got a race to get those free spoons. Obviously, whoever... Doesn't get a spoon, they're eight. I was never a fan of sports day. <laughs> I'm taking my shoes off, this is game time. There's no way I'm losing. On, start spinning round. Go Faster, on. come on, you're going oh. really slow. Keep spinning. Go! <laughs> Donna took her shoes off as if she was ready to roll and come last. <laughs> Go! I was very competitive. I was like, get out of my way. I want to win that spoon. Go! <laughs> Come on! Becky actually rugby tapped me to the floor to get that spoon. And there's probably a big dent left in Sophie's garden, so I apologise about that in advance. So the winner gets... <laughs> This little bottle of Prosecco! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone got involved, everybody was spinning round, and I think everybody enjoyed it. Time for Pud. I'm very happy. I know I'm going to like it, so I'm hoping the rest of the lot like it. How many people is that? I'm sure you can work it out. I'm just going to serve everybody a big slab. Can't go wrong with it. Et voilà, a solid slab of sticky toffee pudding with custard ice cream. I feel like I'm eating a dime bar. That's very nice. So, does anybody want any extra portions? Because there's some left. This is I'm big enough. Absolutely not, thank you. <laughs> Sophie's dessert was beautiful. There's my answer. <laughs> and there you go. 
that was lovely, that was. That's Owen's winner. The dessert was brilliant, but it was really heavy. Something about me, I'm pretty competitive. I'm also a very sore loser. A while ago, I was having a race with a friend, and during this race, my pants started falling wow. down. Shouldn't have been wearing your eating pants, should you? But because I wanted to win so bad, I didn't want to stop and pull them up, so I just kept going and going and going until I got to the finish line. Pants were around my ankles <laughs> completely. I was thinking, but how could you run with your knickers around your ankles? It ain't going to work. It did, apparently. <laughs> so I hope everybody had a nice meal and it was it's delicious. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Well done. Yes. Well done. Ooh. Well done. I think it's a great start to the week. I think everyone's had a good night. It's been nice to get to know each other. If I was voting for myself, obviously, it would be top marks. Sadly, it's not up to you. Scores, please. I really enjoyed my evening tonight. Sophie was a great host and the food was amazing. The lobster was just a little bit too fiddly for me, though. So tonight, I'm going to give Sophie an eight. Wasn't a fan of the mushrooms and the creamy cheese sauce, but the dessert itself was brilliant. Uh, so for that, I'm going to give Sophie a seven. The starter could have been a main, and the main could have been a starter, and for that reason, I'm going to give her an eight. Tonight, I'm going to give Sophie an eight. So the pants have been stretched on Sophie's night of indulgence as she scores an impressive 31 out of 40. Next time, Regal Revelations. I truly believe that I do have royal blood in me. I think they could see that I was queen-like. Which is a little bit me, 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 me. And Huffy hosting. Why mutton? Why not like the better part of the... She. Your comments have already, you know, broken my heart. If it didn't go her way, she wasn't happy with it. <laughs> <laughs>